What's up Cancer? This is going to be a love reading for the second half of April. This is for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also offer personal readings. The info is in the description box of the video. There is a wait for a reading with me. So if you wanted to explore your options, I put a link to my affiliate Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which will give you access to lots of amazing psychics at readers at any given time located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. Um, and if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I put the links to those in the description box as well. Now, Cancer, I'm going to do person on your mind. How do they feel about you? Then how do you feel about them? Then the projected potential outcome for the second half of April. I say potential guys because outcomes can do will shift for you depending on your actions, inactions, your reactions, your assumptions, essentially your state. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do go look into the law of assumption. I incorporate it into my readings. Essentially, this is a reading based on one timeline and the state you're embodying out of infinite who you're identifying as, which is then driving your choices, the version of said connection, the version of person that is available out of infinite at any given time. Everything is possible. You can manifest anything, tweak anything, have anything conform. Please do look at the content online. So this is just the current snapshot, guys. Okay, so Cancer, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you as we move through the second half of April? I keep seeing the Emperor card, so Cancer and the Lovers card, so there seems to be quite a strong connection, but a lack of confidence in the direction forward as well, because I saw the Strength card is in the reverse and the Two of Wands was in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles is an Ace of Swords and a Nine of Wands in the reverse. Justice card is in the reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and there's that Lovers card. Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse, Justice card is in the reverse. Okay, so there's something here cancer where it's like this person's not sure whether this is something that is you know can continue to be invested in or um perhaps there's effort has stopped because we have a seven of pentacles it looks like this is someone that you built some kind of groundwork with but eight of pentacles is the next card and and either they feel you're not invested anymore or they've stopped kind of investing the ace of swords though is about wanting to have some kind of a conversation and there's a block between the two of you, this person wants to get past some kind of a wound or a block. Strong love connection here with a lover's card. Um, you know, there's been a lot of waiting to see how things play out with this Seven of Pentacles. Um, justice card in the reverse. Something here to do with balance or trying to make something right between the two of you. Now that could be related to whatever this wound is. And I'll get more information about it. They want to heal maybe something with you. Um... On the other hand, yeah, whatever has caused the wound has stop, has caused a stop in, in effort, right? Um, Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, conversation. Yeah, something about releasing heartache, Three of Swords. It's in the reverse, getting past some pain, Cancer, and a King of Cups in the reverse, where the love seems to have been lost. Now, Cancer, for some of you, I mean, King of Cups is water sign energy. You could be dealing with another water sign or... This is just generally, you know, the love could feel like it's being withdrawn. In a more extreme case, Shadow King of Cups can be a bit on the manipulative side of things. Um, something has caused a wound or pain between the two of you, possibly even separation. This person, like I said, it's like something needs to be made right, Cancer. The Justice card is about legal matters, divorce, marriage, and Three of Swords is sometimes third-party energy. So for some of you, that's relevant not all of you guys and don't make it your story if it's not but you know perhaps this is about like you've built a groundwork with this person but things haven't progressed or there's inability to put effort in because there might be other things that need to be wrapped up or another situation that needs to be completely wrapped up um, there also could be wounds just in the heart space that may have caused a lack of effort in this situation do you feel me cancer because the lovers card so you know, I do think this is like a very strong soul contract, a soul connection. However, it's like something is blocking the heart space. And, you know, Three of Swords, 
as well, it can just be old pain, right? Nine of Wands as well, wounds. And Eight of Pentacles would be about self-mastery. So maybe it's also about having to heal wounds in order to actually move forward, but seems to be that effort's not really being put in. Um, it could be a bit of that kind of, now again, this is how they feel about you, Cancer. Maybe they feel like you're the one that's not putting in the effort and I'm not giving anyone shit. I'm just playing like devil's advocate and I'm reading both sides. Now, the one thing that's important to know, guys, because I incorporate the law of assumption, everything is just for context on this timeline and everything um, is based on where we're at, our state, and people are us pushed out. So we also have to understand if we want things to shift that we need to make new assumptions and let go of old story. And you don't need to wait for someone else to heal or change. There's nothing to change but self. Please go and look at some of the coaches online like uh, Kim Velez, Dylan James, Sammy Ingram manifesting with Kimberly. So circumstances don't really matter either. Um, or waiting for someone to heal or shift or change at all times, at any given time, all versions of said connection exist and all versions of self. And so if you select a version of person where there's wounds and blocks connected to, say, the past, or there's third party energy that's still being wrapped up and that's caused sort of a lag, then it, there is ability to change that. But we've got a King of Cups in the reverse. Let's see why. Six of Cups in the reverse and then the Three of Pentacles in the upright. There's a wanting to maybe cooperate, but when I see the Six of Cups in the reverse, again, it is something here about needing to revisit something from the past and heal the wound connected to the past in order to have something just and balanced between the two of you. Okay, so I mean, Six of Cups can also be like childhood wounding and whatnot, because when we go to the Five of Cups, which is the previous card, it's also old losses. So either there's regrets and losses between the two of you due to certain behaviors, or there's been a block in the heart space because there's a need to let go of past wounding connected to other relationships and childhood stuff. Um, so there's also this sense of can stuff be reconciled? So for a lot of you, you know, there is some kind of a block between the two of you, but there's a wanting to have a conversation. So for some of you, there's opportunity here to have a conversation. And so guys, I encourage you for those of you that want to change this, that this person wants to have a conversation with you, you, and you feel like something has been out of balance between the two of you, conversation can go either way. If you have certain assumptions about person or said situation, well, this is when we can go round and round. Um, but something here needs to be reconciled. This person's not sure if it's reconcilable. Um, let me have a look at this Three of Swords. There, there's definitely, there's Three of Cups. So Three of Swords in the reverse with the Three of Cups. It is possible that other energies have gotten in the way of this connection, okay? Whether that be um, friends, family, choices, options, because perhaps this the Seven of Pentacles to me says you laid groundwork, but you didn't necessarily get to like a Ten of Pentacles commitment with this person. Lover's card can be choices. So there could have been a bit of a wound feeling not prioritized, not chosen um, on your end, on their end, Cancer, on both ends. Maybe this is a mirror situation with the lover's card, okay? And that could just be down to, you know, feeling um, like there's a block in the heart space um, and not being ready and willing to move forward or choose or make a decision. But Three of Cups can just be friends, it can just be outside energies. So let me have a look. The Ten of Pentacles could also be family influence, okay? Because I don't think you reached a Ten of Pentacles with this person. Some of you, this person, or you or both of you have built Ten of Pentacles with other people and that hasn't been ended or needs to end. Or um, that's the past and it's still affecting the present moment. Do you feel me, Cancer? Um, like there's been an unreadiness, the full card in the reverse, the un an unreadiness to take the leap of faith, right? To maybe go for the Ten of Pentacles with each other, right? So it's like you stopped at the seven, Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse, no one's putting in the effort. Now this could just be family influence um, that are getting in the way, like Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So it doesn't always have to be that there's a third party romantic and a family. This could actually just be family um, expectations or wounds connected to family. There could also be stuff to do with money and material matters here. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, legal matters, outside influences that are maybe not so 
healthy or material matters that are because the devil cards here right after so this can be like toxic attachments um also fears limiting beliefs codependencies i mean the devil card in the reverse this person is trying to maybe set themselves free from some of that or they're wanting you to cancer again i'm going to get your side of the street um so there's something here like toxic outside energies or attachments or fears and wounds that need to be kind of healed and released. They want to have a conversation. They might have had a bit of a breakthrough around that. Some of you, there's distance involved here with the full card, which is also impacting on the situation. We've got Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Libra energy and uh, Gemini with the lovers card. I mean, it seems to be the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. So there's something sort of feeling quite faded, but also that maybe, you know, this is the wheel of karma. So this is like toxic. I, I, I'm careful with labels, guys, because I feel like karmic issues, again, we don't need to focus so much on, on this person if they're tied to a karmic or they have karmic outside influences. And so I do read differently, guys. I'm giving this to you for context. But yes, you have manifested or selected a version of a connection and this is the person that has say these things that they need to cut away or heal um but there seems to be some like toxic maybe uh patterns or attachments involved here they could feel that way about you cancer again so you can shift and shift states and select new new version if you're the one that has to deal with also maybe some healing and whatnot or sever yourself from something that's toxic or if you want this person to show up differently you can but the devil card and the this could feel like this is cycles right so something needs to be like shifted in order for the wheel of fortune to turn for the better it's in the reverse card so also you know this is like you're at a seven of pentacles it definitely doesn't feel like it's finished even if you've taken space from this person three of swords they want to come out of that but then that it seems to be like there's an effort that needs to be put in to cut away what's not healthy or fear or toxic attachment essentially okay and there could just be fears like this is a risk in some way this feels like a risk either there's something to lose if it's financial because there's connections to family or exes or or current third parties legal matters financial matters something like that okay cancer so let me get your side of the street I mean, Ace of Swords indicates to me that this person, how do they feel about you? There's something about truth, honesty, wanting to clarify things, have conversation potentially or a new start. Um, Cancer, they might feel king of cups that you've withdrawn your love from them. So uh, maybe they feel like it's a risk to, to go ahead. Something that's happened here, it's like effort has stopped being put in. Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, Cancer. How do you feel about them? Heartbroken and Devil. So it, it, there could be a lot of desire between you and this person, um, but maybe more desire than um, like a feeling of true, like truly receiving the emotional support. Uh, Three of Cups and because maybe third party energy outside interference. But then there is emotion because I saw the Knight of Cups. How do you feel about this person, Cancer? As you move through the second half of April, Knight of Cups again. So actual feeling, but then a two of wands, feeling like this is also at a crossroads or a choice needs to be made. Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Wanting to focus on reciprocity um, and wanting to break free from something that is limiting this situation or Eight of Swords can be limiting beliefs. Some of you, you know, Eight of Swords, you've been feeling very trapped, like it's hard to get the reciprocity in this situation or the right balance in this situation. You have love for this person. Now, Eight of Swords is our own mindset, guys. So if I'm going to read more like an LOA incorporating that and you wanted this to shift, then all you would need to really look at is what are you setting yourself free from in terms of how things have shown up in your reality that are reflective of your own self-concept um, if you feel like this person hasn't been reciprocating or choosing, for example, if there is an issue around choices or if you have fears in choosing because you're somehow holding back because you have limiting beliefs about um, love, like th this person could be mirroring back to you something like you feel six of pentacles, like 
there's a breadcrumb energy. Maybe you feel like this person isn't really returning what you, you know, the same effort. Something about effort here, eight of pentacles in the reverse. We've got king of wands and then the ten of wands in the reverse. So there's attraction. Then there's a lot of burdens in this situation, Cancer. Um, so you want to release the burdens. Let me just see. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Swords is in the reverse. They've got Ace of Swords in the upright. You've got King of Swords in the reverse. And then there's that Eight of Pentacles in the reverse from another deck, guys. You both have Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And I mentioned with this Six of Cups in the reverse that we need to go to the previous card with the Spilt Cups. And there's that Five of Cups. So you and this person, there's issues like, can things be reconciled because there's all this loss? Five of Cups or Regrets. Um, and it's something to do with lack of honesty or truth. Now, this could be lack of honesty or truth in terms of, um, for some of you, like there's been a block or a wall. So there's been lack of honesty or truth when it comes to feelings. There's been lack of clarity on the direction forward. Um, or something has been maybe not so honest. King of Swords in the reverse. And, and so there's, there's been hurt feelings and now lack of effort. And I think that it's also possible, you know, that um, the fears is a, is, a, is a big factor here. With that Eight of Swords, it's like maybe there was a bit of this wall meets wall. Um, for those of you where there's not really like an actual lingering third party present, um, this could just be, you know, um, holding back a lot. King of Swords in reverse is avoidant sort of energy. Um, and Five of Cups, there's Loss and Regrets, Knight of Swords, and then you've got Lover's Card both in the upright. You both feel mutually Lover's Card, but there's been indecision, something around choosing. Um, and Knight of Swords in the reverse is kind of erratic or harsh communication, or it's just stopped moving. This could be at a stop, right? You've got Ace of Swords in the reverse, so either you're not conversing with this person or you're holding on a little bit to an old... Um, circumstance between you and this person where things were not clear or not honest so again cancer i encourage you if you want this to change you, you have two choices cancer and if it's not your reading it's not your reading but if you want this sp if you want a new version of this connection you have to not be anchored into old version of connection and that's accepting that the way that things have played out to date is reflection of state and so when you look, go and look at the coaches I recommended, it will make sense. But there's losses here. There's a wanting to have a new start, Ace of Cups. There's a wanting to also break free from, it's like break free from this altogether or have a new start. So I feel like you might be in two camps because I also saw that two of wands as I was shuffling. It feels unfinished. Even if you had some kind of an end, the death card is, is like, it doesn't feel finished. Um, maybe there's something else that needs to be ended. For those of you where third party energy is in the mix, maybe that's what needs to be ended in order to move ahead. Um, but for most of you, this is just like death card in the reverse cycles. So there's potential for transformation, but Cancer, it's like, as I said to you, you need to, again, like I'm trying to empower you guys. If you wanna change this, you can change this, but you might need to look into what you wanna change with self so that you can select new version of the connection and manifest away all of this stuff that seems to have gone wrong. Like there seems to have been some harshness and maybe trust issues with that King of Swords in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Why do we have the death card in the reverse? So Scorpio energy. Yeah, there's something here, you know, and then there's that Three of Swords again, and then you've got a Queen of Cups. So Queen and King of Cups, but King of Cups is in the reverse here and Queen of Cups is in the upright. Lover's card on both sides. So you feel mutual love and soul contract. One person feels the other one's been a bit emotionally manipulative or not given as much, not match them at the love level. And that can just be due to, again, everything in the end is a projection and then things will play out in a certain way according to our assumptions. I'm not excusing shitty behavior, guys, and don't entertain shitty versions of people. But if you look into the law, you'll understand what I mean. Like, it seems to be that one person thinks the other one's in a shadow energy. And in the end, maybe you feel like this person wasn't returning the love and they appeared not to be. It was crystallized in that way. They seem to want to have a new start but then on the other hand it looks like they're not certain whether this is possible the high priestess is in the reverse it could be that some something was not honest 
um, it, there was things that were hidden and maybe something came out. There was like a lack of truth or honesty in some way for some of you and then that's caused hurt feelings and separation and heartache. Um, so how do you feel, Cancer? You feel like they hold back on you or you're holding back? I don't know. Um, six of Wands, but then you still seem to, part of you want success. I'm going to take a look at the broken mirror and just see what's going on. How does this person feel towards Cancer? Toxic people, addictions, wrong crowd. Toxic people. That's what I said to you, Cancer. So there's something about maybe outside energies or attachments. Um, mm, deception, liar in another relationship. So for some of you, that is what's playing out. But Or the liar thing is dishonesty, uh, toxic crowd, outside energies that are influencing this and not being totally upfront and honest with one another. But how do they feel about you, Cancer? I mean, the Empress, beautiful, sexy, abundant, confident. And then we have court, secrets exposed. Did I not just say that before? Um, the ex, unfaithful love triangle, ex in question. So for some of you, it speaks for itself. For others of you, you know, I do feel like there's some toxicity and patterns and maybe avoidance, holding back, not you know, opening up um, and potentially like friends and toxic people around. Um, but, you know, the ex, does it mean that there's presently a third party? For some of you, this is just like old energy that then causes a lot of suspicion and, and, um, and certain behaviors. Now, again, guys, circumstances don't matter. So like I told you, if you've got a past where you have trust issues, it's possible that you feel this bond with this person, but certain trust issues have then then you, you select a version of person that shows up and then things are confirmed in a certain type of a way, right? It'll make sense when you um, look into the law and check it out. We've got unfinished business. What did I say? It feels unfinished. Proposal, forgiveness, reconciliation. So this person wants to reconcile something with you and then we have make it rain, manifesting abundance, legal matters in your favor. So it could be that this person's also, like I said, there could be legal matters, um, toxic outside energies or maybe something to do with money and legal matters that have been a block but definitely wanting to there's unfinished business conflict resolution compromising making amends positive outcomes so this person wants to like have some kind of a new start um, you're mirroring each other a lot cancer eight of pentacles in the reverse eight of pen it's a bit of this kind of you're you're like I don't think that they're going to put in any effort or they're not putting in effort and this person might feel that way about you, but then there's a sense of wanting to reconcile. So Cancer, um, what action's being taken? I don't know. An Ace of Swords in the upright means you could hear from this person or there's opportunity to have this conflict resolution. Um, but again, guys, conversations... You can manifest anything. If you're in no contact, you can also manifest contact, guys. But it's like you must change the stories and the assumptions um, if you want it to go differently. Otherwise, it can go round and round. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, let's get you a romance angel. Yeah, work on your partnership. Guys, something about not putting work into the situation. This says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life, separation. So for some of you, there is separation going on um, that needs to be tied up and it could be legal like exes and money and all of that. For, for others of you, you're in separation with this person for a lot of the reasons that we already talked about and finances and career are a factor. There could be an over-focus on that or not feeling ready or that's how it's been. Um, and not enough work on the partnership or resolving issues with one another. Um, or some of you are connected to this person through your, through your career somehow, very small portion of you. Then I've got new love. So Ace of Cups was the new love. So you do partly want to have a new beginning with this person. And then we have let go of control issues and soulmate. And then we have, I said about mindset, eight of swords, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So Cancer, you guys can choose to not um, take what I have to say. There's other traditional readers that are amazing that don't incorporate law of assumption. But if you guys want this to change, no one to change but self. 
the stay optimistic. So if you want to flip this round and manifest it differently, there's something here that has been mirrored back to you reflecting of a, a belief about self. So if you're feeling this person has not prioritized you, that there's other energies that have interfered, um, that you haven't been chosen, or if you have fears in opening up or making decisions, it's coming down to a belief you have about self, like that love's not safe, or that you're not, not enough, or whatever the belief is, okay? The control issues, guys, that can be about holding back quite a lot. So either you feel this person was avoidant with you, or you were that way, um, or you were very triggered by this situation, Cancer. And the control issues is when we want things to be different on the outside. And that's when we go round and round and we get very triggered, which again is coming down to what's the narrative. And it's a reflection of your state and, and your belief. So if you want to if you want to control this cancer, you absolutely can have this shift in conform, but it's about controlling your thoughts, which are then you know, reflected in your reality, you're manifesting, your thoughts are creating your reality, unknowingly or knowingly. So if you consciously select new thoughts that are in alignment with your desire, because all things exist at once already, guys, so there is a version of said connection that is the version that you desire, but it comes down to what you believe about self and what state you're in. So if you shift that, that's the control. Taking control, it says, allow this situation to unfold naturally. No, I don't think because these are tarot cards and I, I read it differently. Let go of control issues. Let go of controlling how the circumstances are looking right now and go away and select new story of self and new story about the connection and know that that, that is how it will materialize. Okay, go and have a look into the law, guys. Um, anyway, I hope for some of you that made sense and um, resonated. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.